Hey y'all, here's my little corner that I fixed up over here um, to display my stuff. I'm going to call this my little coffee corner. And I got a cute new little, new little coffee cup. I love getting just individual coffee cups that match the decor in my kitchen. So anyway, love it, love it, love it. This, we can change things. It says, life is the flower. Love is the honey. I love that. My kitchen, my rolls. <laughs> love it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and we are rolling, rolling down the highway, getting ready to get the kids, the teens. I'm going to hang out with them today. And I feel bad for them. They just don't have anything to do because, of course, everything is pretty much still social distancing. So, I'm going to take them to the mall. Just let them, you know, let the teenagers do what the teenagers do. And I'm just going to people watch, pretty much. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the food court, maybe. Of course, we'll have our PPE on. And we'll do like a little phone time check and have a little talk with them. No touchy, no touchy, no touchy, nothing. You don't want to draw no attention. You don't need nobody following y'all around in the store. Just act like you got some sense. About like how we used to do when we were teens. Parents used to drop us off at the mall who we were, you know, 14, 15 years old. And then they'll come pick us up in a couple of hours. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give them a little... Uh, little yardstick if you will let's see how they act without me walking around in each store with them just let them you know go out and um you know be amongst other teenagers you know let them do something you know let them let them be out and about to do something but like i said it's gonna look a whole lot different because where they used to going to the mall and being free if you will they're going to be free, but they're going to have their masks and stuff on, you know, for their protection and others' protection. So, but anyway, last night, well, night, well, last night and this morning, i just been enjoying watching television. But anyway, this morning, uh, I was watching um, the Dr. Oz show. And of course, that, um, that lady that does, and I'm sorry, I can't think of her name. Um, she's um, the pimple popper but anyway so she was on there talking about the skin and different things and so later on they went into a segment uh, about uh, L'Oreal retinol they've got this new product out that's supposed to be really good for your skin wrinkles dark spots even skin tone now I'm a Pons woman I always have been love me some Pons and I, my skin has been doing extremely well but you know, y'all, as I'm entering into my 50s, um, I thought, you know, I don't want to wait till I see a bunch of wrinkles come upon me. What can I be doing now that perhaps will slow that process? Because don't get it twisted. I tell the Lord, thank you for every year. Uh, yes, because he gave me all these years without repentance. So I'll take every last one of them. But you know, as I'm entering into my 50s, because what, y'all, I'll be 50 and what? And, about another three months and so um there's just some things i might switch up and change and just try you know but anyway they were talking about that on on the dr Oz show and um you know things that you can do to do a retouch if you will <laughs> But anyway, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm embracing, I, I embrace every stage of the age that I am in. I mean, I'm still a girly girl at heart. I still love to be silly. But then when it's time to turn on that serious, serious uh, button, I can do that too. But you know what? I am 50. I'm going on 50. And when I tell y'all ladies, I absolutely love it. Let me tell y'all something. Get into it. Oh, I just love that when the kids be saying all that. Get into it. Um, I am the commander of my own ship. 
and God is my God. Oh my God, he's giving me my ship. He's showing me all the controls on it, what I need to do when I need to speed up and what I need to do to slow down. But God is the ultimate, he is my guider, amen? but I am the commander of my own ship. And then when I tell y'all, y'all, I love it. I do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, and for however long I need to do it. Again, with the guidance, amen, of the Holy Spirit and, and my Heavenly Father. Let me tell you something. When I tell you I love it, look, it took me a lifetime to get here. I'm not gonna run from it. And look, for us ladies, we just have to go ahead on and embrace the daggone thing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Life comes, some things may happen to us along the way. We got hooked up with old dead Fred and uh, loose hips Susie. But you know what? It don't even matter. Because if you've learned how to see your way out of it, God provided you a way of escape, or he allowed you to enter into some things that got you straightened out amen because sometimes it's not always about getting you out of stuff god will put you in some stuff to get you delivered from some things so you can learn so with every year i say god i thank you for every struggle i have to say god i thank you because you cause all things to work together for my good amen and like i said sometimes we can't dictate how God wants our success to look like. <laughs> we can't dictate on how God causes us to get up and get over. My get up and get over may be totally different from yours. My blessings from God may be totally different from yours. But let me tell y'all something. I will never be ashamed of my Father God. Let me tell you. His praises will continually be in and coming out of my mouth. Uh, 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 let, let me say that again. His praises, the praises of God will continually, continually be coming in and through and out of my mouth. I can't thank him enough. And like I said, some people can handle it. Some people can't, you know, but like I said, I'm so glad God don't get tired of us or he don't get tired of me. He don't get tired. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad about that. And we can, as people, we can get tired of each other. And I understand that because what? We're in the flesh and we're just human. But I'm so glad God don't ever get tired of me giving him praise. Oh my God, I thank you. And like I said, some people can handle it, some people can't. I can't, I can't be consumed with that. Because <laughs> I know what the Lord has done for me and he's going to continue to do for me. Amen whether on this side or if I'm be, to be absent from this body, I will be present with the Lord in all his will. Amen? Amen. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this that this morning, you know, about embracing every area that you're in. You may want to progress and move on and move forward and be successful and be at a point in your life where you can cruise you may have some bumps and bruises. You may have some little trials and tribulations. Ain't none of us exempt from that. But let me tell you something, honey. When you can get to a place in your life where you can just cruise, just like I'm cruising down this road, baby, when you can just cruise, and when you see some stuff, a pothole, you can just sort of, what we talking about, blind spot, just shift that wheel a little bit to the left, shift that wheel a little bit to the right. Sometimes we have to do that in our life to avoid that pothole. Don't jerk the wheel so because then you might have to overcorrect. And in your overcorrection, you might cause an accident. So just barely shift that wheel. Shift that dial and keep it cruising, y'all. Anyway, let me go get my teens. And like I said, just going to love on them and just let them be freed up to do stuff today. Amen. They got to have something to do, you know. I'm, I, you know, I live in a small town and we have to travel uh, a little bit to do something around here. See, I live in like a retirement community, you know. We got to travel a little bit to, to go to get to the city parts, if you will. <laughs> but that's all right. I, I'm loving it because like I said, I'm cruising, yeah, on a Friday afternoon. 
and I probably won't get back tonight in order to do fish Friday, but that's all right. We'll probably find something to eat at the mall or something, or we'll take, do takeout or something. But anyway, let me go get them. 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 And y'all, y'all just cruise. 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 All right. Good. All right, y'all. We rolling. Everybody bend over and say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Let's get our mask on, y'all. All right, we're going inside the mall. They got their PPE on. They want me to walk with them, honey. They said, oh, no, we ain't grown yet, so, uh, Grandma, you need to walk with us. <laughs> Y'all know what I see already built. Ooh, your favorite store? Yes. Let's go explore. Come on. Y'all know I want to shop, don't you? But I'm making this about them. Let them do what they want to do. Honey, you know I want to go do some shopping, honey. But I'm going to restrain myself. It's all about the teens today. Me. <laughs> Ooh, child. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tackle these stairs, get some exercise in. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Ooh. Life is pink is life. Honey, kids keep you young or they'll remind you that you ain't. But I need this exercise anyway. For real, for real. Well, y'all want to get something to eat? Food court. At the food court. Food court. Got McDonald's. Then they got the steak escape. Panda Nad. Uh, 
I saw 2K20, you know, it cost $20 now. I was going to get that for a But I was also trying to look for the comic book. They lowered the price on that. Yeah, that's true. Y'all, I'm in the Pottery Barn. I've never been to the Pottery Barn before. I've never been. I can because I'm grown and I can pay for it. <laughs> That's the difference. Don't forget it. But yeah, yeah, I've never been in here before. So I'm going to look around. Love these lamps. Look at these lamps. Cute. What's the new new back there? What's back there? That's an exit. Look at that blue and white. Isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Love that. Don't you have those colors at your home? Mm-hmm. Yep, this is my colors. I actually like these these um the little napkins. Love those. Cute, cute, cute. That's pretty, just nice and simple. Pretty. That's pretty. Pottery barn. Flip-flop shop. Man Man want to come to GameStop, so we have to let Man Man have fun in the mall, too. Checking out the latest games. Okay, I'm going to go sit out here while you... They don't have it set up in this store where you can play games? It is. It's over there, but I don't know. Oh, okay. They normally have it where you can play a game. Y'all, I'm tired, honey. These children, honey, we done walked all over this mall. But it's actually good exercise. Good, good exercise, honey. So, yeah, I'm going to feel it tonight. Because not only do, are they walking me, they walk fast, so I have to put a little bit more pep in my step. Y'all understand? Yes, honey. Man Man's getting a video game. See what you what you talking about, what you know what to do with it. All right, let's go get it. Checking out. All right, y'all, while I was waiting on them, I got me some bath and body work candles, honey. You know I had to do it. I had to do it. Lauren wants to go to Lady Foot Locker. She wants to see what's inside of Lady Foot Locker. Y'all, these children don't shop like how we used to shop. They go in the store, they go to one rack, 
And if they don't see something they like, they keep it moving. Uh-uh, honey. We, we, honey, when we were used to shopping when you we was teenagers, we looked through everything. Man, man, just over here chilling. Honey, I don't understand these girls these days, honey. I love that. So feminine. New York and Company. Isn't that pretty? Those beautiful colors. That green and white polka dot. Oh, I love it. 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 Wow, I can remember. I used to buy y'all children clothes from here, man, man. You, Tania, and long when y'all were children, I used to come in here all the time, a children's place. Now look at y'all grown self. Can't even find you nothing now. Y'all so funny. The days of when I used to could pick y'all clothes out are over. <laughs> y'all like to do your own stuff. We're gonna peep into Macy's. Ain't been in Macy's in a while, y'all. Macy's was short-lived, y'all. They came in and turned right back around, so we're at Air Apostle. Let's see how long this lasts. You gotta look at, make sure it's something your daddy will let you wear. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. I know your daddy. He's weird. Yeah, now those are cute. Cause like I said, we when I was skinny, that's what we wore in the summertime. That pretty yellow. And then they got that neg that navy blue. You like that navy blue? Lauren's getting that. Janine's getting her two tank tops. You don't want those five foot flops? Say bye to the people, y'all.